The Federal Ministry of Health and Social Welfare says it will scale up access to hormonal intrauterine device, HIUD, a reversible contraceptive device to promote expanded contraceptive method of family planning. Dr. Stella Nwosu, Director, Family Health Department in the Ministry, made this known in Abuja at the closeout and dissemination workshop of the completion of the Catalytic Opportunity Fund HIUD project. Nwosu, represented by Alex Ugotuku, Head of Logistics and Services, Family Planning Unit in the Ministry, said the project has encouraged lots of families to embrace the HIUD contraceptive method. This um, project has done a lot in repositioning family planning in the country, most especially in these two states, especially HIUD. But you know, I had what you said. In family planning, you talk about family planning as a whole. And when you are doing counseling, you do balance counseling. It is for the client to do what? To choose. I want to believe there's no bias. Because when we are preaching HIUD, there should be a sense of bias, one way or the other. We are not there. We are not there. But what I'm saying is that for us to avoid it, balance counseling is the way. So I applaud everyone that are here for this particular occasion. They've done so well. And uh, on behalf of the ministry, We will continue supporting you. Dr. Kabiru Atta, country representative in gender health, said the nine month old $250,000 HIUD project aimed at promoting expanded contraceptive method mix in Bauchi and Sokoto states. Atta revealed that 48 health workers from 44 facilities in HIUD service delivery were trained to cascade it down to 230 healthcare providers in Bauchi and Sokoto. So I think one of the successes of this project is the fact that we're able to get both Bauchi and Sokoto State to commit funding to procure commodities, which is really, really one of the biggest issues we face in the, in the family planning space in Nigeria for now. Uh, so with these budgetary commitments, uh, we are hoping for a full-on um, phase where we can actually support them um, using a recently released guideline that supports this of procurement of family planning commodities. We can support the states, mentor them, and hopefully get their procurement system in place to be able to procure these commodities themselves. Uh, and um, of course, like I mentioned, it's, it's a big space, lots of funding needed. The government may not be able to do it alone. And uh, so other funding we expect will come in and support them across all the other systems, capacity building, improving the data management systems uh, beyond this. Also, Dr. Adamu Sambo, Bauchi State Commissioner for Health, commended the project and its implementers. This project was very impactful, especially in Bauchi State. Women started accepting the uh, hormonal IUCDs. We have started seeing compliance, we have started seeing a lot of reduction in unwanted pregnancies and this has given the state the opportunity to have make good planning and we have reduced our indices for people who have refused to accept family planning commodities. So this is a very good development that we had in the state. I really appreciate Engender Health for bringing this project to Manchester.